So, we wanted to know what the ultimate family guard dog breed was, and together we went on a 16 dog knockout tournament adventure to crown the canine show's ultimate family guard dog breed. However, every breed in this tournament made superb family guardians, and in today's video, we're going to take a more detailed look at one of the best family guardians in the world, the Rhodesian Ridgeback. So, our first round was Temperament with Children. This round was important for obvious reasons, as if you're going to bring a guard dog into your home with children, it's absolutely imperative that they'd be good with your children of all ages. But it's also important thinking of the bigger picture, including your children's friends coming over to play, or meeting other children out in public. Ridgebacks are known to be good with children, thanks to their placid natures in a home environment. They love being a part of a family and be involved in everything that goes on in a household. However, they are a better choice for families where the children are slightly older and who therefore know how to behave around a dog. With this said, any interaction between a toddler or young child and a Ridgeback should always be supervised by an adult to make sure things stay nice and calm. If well socialised from a young age, Ridgebacks generally get on well with other dogs and rarely would one of them show any sort of aggressive behaviour when they first meet another dog. However, care must be taken when they are around cats and smaller pets because of their high prey drive. With this said, if a Ridgeback grows up with a cat in a household, they generally get on well together. Known to be extremely courageous, the Rhodesian Ridgeback is an impressive dog that boasts being powerful in body and mind. They are intelligent but boasts having a bit of a stubborn streak in them which in short means they need to be handled and trained by someone who is familiar with this breed or this type of intelligent strong willed dog. They form strong bonds with their families and make exceptionally good watchdogs because they are naturally wary of people they don't know. However a Ridgeback would not show any sort of aggression towards a stranger preferring just to keep their distance and let an owner know if there is somebody about. Ridgebacks respect a calm and confident leader and react accordingly during their training. They are intelligent and have no trouble learning new things, providing their training starts early. It must be consistent and fair so a dog understands what it is that is expected of them. And these dogs need to know their place in the pack and who the alpha dog is in a household, or they may start to show a more dominant and unruly side to their natures. Our second round was Intimidation Factor. This round was in the contest as for a guarding breed, 99% of the time intimidation is enough to scare off any would-be bad guy. A feat any dog can do, but the scarier they look and sound, the less likely they are of trying to attack you or your family, rob your house or something even worse. And Rhodesian Ridgeback males grow 63 to 69 centimetres, weighing 36 kilos, with females 61 to 66 centimetres, weighing up to 32 kilos. They are a handsome, large dog that boasts a lot of presence. They are powerful and strong with a now famous ridge that runs the full length of a dog's back. Their heads are quite long and broad between the ears with a stop that's nicely defined. A dog's nose can either be black or brown to match the colour of a dog's coat and their eyes can be dark or amber. Their muzzles are long, powerful and deep and their eyes being set nicely apart and round shaped with dogs having a bright, alert and intelligent expression. Their ears are set high on a dog's head and moderately large, being wider at the base and gently tapered to a brown point at the tip. Dogs carry their ears close to their heads and the Rhodesian Ridgeback has a strong jaw with a perfect scissor bite, where the upper teeth neatly overlap the lower ones with dogs having well-developed canines. Their necks are quite long and strong with nicely sloping shoulders. Front legs are straight, well-boned and strong as well. Their chests are very deep but not too wide with ribs being well-sprung. The Ridgeback has a very powerful, strong back and their loins are muscular and nicely arched. Their hindquarters are powerful with dogs having well-developed back legs. Their feet are compact and well-arched toes and hair in between both their toes and their pad paws. Tails are stronger at the base but taper gently towards the tip which the dog carries slightly curved. When it comes to their coat, the Rhodesian Ridgeback has a short, dense and very sleek coat with a nice natural sheen to it. The accepted breed colours for kennel club registrations are light Wheaton, red Wheaton, Wheaton and dogs can have dark muzzles and ears which are allowed under the breed standard. When a Rhodesian Ridgeback moves they do so with a straight free moving and forward action covering a lot of ground when they do. And before we start the third round I wanted to quickly let you guys know that if you're interested in the products I recommend that you must own when having a Rhodesian Ridgeback I've left links down in the description box for you to go and check out. The third round was trainability. As most guard dogs tend to be large breeds, it's imperative that they are well trained and obedient to your commands to keep yourself, others and themselves safe. When you add a large dog into a family environment, trainability is even more important, as there is the more that a dog's need to understand and more people they need to be able to take commands off and be forgiving with inconsistencies that can happen in such an environment. That's why this round was more than just which dog ranks higher in intelligence. And although highly intelligent, the Ridgeback is strong-willed and often stubborn dog to train. 
However, if their socialization and training starts early enough in the right environment, with the correct amount of training, these dogs can be a real pleasure to have around. The key to successfully training a Ridgeback is to use positive reinforcement and show a dog a lot of patience and understanding during a training session. It would be a mistake to try and rush things with a young Ridgeback, but rather to take the time and guide them gently into learning how to behave. Making their training as diverse and as interesting as possible helps keep a Ridgeback focused, and the more they enjoy the one-to-one -one attention they are given, the better they respond to a command. They do not respond well to any sort of harsh correction which could not achieve any sort of good results, and may even harm a Ridgeback's confidence. Providing their training is consistent throughout their lives, these handsome dogs will always do their best to please their owners. Ridgeback, puppy, Ridgeback puppies are incredibly cute, and they're also very boisterous, which means playtime can be a little overwhelming at times. New owners need to start out as they mean to go on, which means laying down rules and boundaries right from the word go, so these incredibly cute puppies understand what behaviour is acceptable and what is not. The fourth round was health and life expectancy. This was more straightforward round as when you bring a dog into your family environment, they become a part of the family, and as with any member of the family, you want them to be fit, healthy, and around for as long as possible. The average life expectancy of a Rhodesian Ridgeback is between 9 and 15 years when properly cared for and fed an appropriate good quality diet to suit their ages. Like so many other breeds, the Ridgeback is known to suffer from a few hereditary health issues which are worth knowing about if you're planning to share your home with one of these energetic, intelligent dogs. The condition that seems to affect the breed the most includes the following. Hip and elbow dysplasia, canine epilepsy, hyperthyroidism, dermoid sinus, juvenile myoclonic epilepsy, congenital deafness and bloat and gastric torsion. And our fifth and final round was actual protection ability. Now when we're talking about a family guard dog, all the other things are nice to have, but ultimately when we use the word guard dog, not watchdog, then we simply can't leave out actual protection ability. And now when I say actual protection ability, I mean it with a focus on family guarding, not things like guarding sports or competitions like IPO, which although are superb and I'm a huge fan of them, I wanted to know what dog would best protect my family if I was out of the house and someone broke in. No fancy takedowns or sleeve work, just pure raw protection capabilities of the dog's loved ones if they were in harm's way. The Rhodesian Ridgeback is a natural watchdog and extremely protective of their owners and property. As such, they do not need to be trained to guard, which could make a dog more dominant and aggressive. With this said, Ridgebags are not known to be barkers, preferring to put themselves in between anything they perceive as a threat and their owners as a way of protecting them. They are highly prized in their native Zimbabwe for being superb watchdogs. But over the years, these handsome dogs have become popular in other parts of the world, including here in the UK, thanks to their striking looks and loyal, kind natures. Ridgebacks were bred to be tough, with enough courage to hunt down lions and to protect owners in the harsh bushland terrains of Rhodesia. They inherited the distinctive ridge down their backs from the native Hottentot dog, and the story has it that a missionary in the late 1800s loaned two dogs to a big game hunter in Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe, and the hunter was so impressed with the dogs that he decided to breed a pack of ridgebacks of his own. It was not long before the ridgeback became the dog of choice for lion hunters throughout the land thanks to their courage and bravery on hunting expeditions, and pretty soon their fame spread throughout the world. Click top left video for the playlist for the entire tournament where we determine the ultimate family guard dog or click the bottom left video for another one of my videos I think you'll enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next ultimate dog breed tournament.